Good morning, YouTube. How are you? It's T with the Arizona Riders Club. Ride with us. Here for uh, another watch review. I really appreciate you taking time to watch my videos. For all of you that have subscribed recently, salute. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, let's get this on and popping. Today, I've got a watch called a Nixon 5130. Let's take a close look. I know, <laughs> I know, you can barely see, right? Let's get a little closer, make it, make sure that you guys can take a look. I've never actually wore this watch. Um, it really is not my style. I will probably end up selling it. Did a little research on the watch and found out it is worth about $500. Didn't know that. Um, and then I did a little research on the company as well, Nixon. I was familiar with the brand, but I didn't know their history. So let's get into that, right? Uh, heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. Um, it is a very, very sturdy watch. Very heavy watch. Um, Nothing else quite measures up. Named after the face size, 51 millimeter, and water-resistant rating of 30 ATM. The 5130 Chrono is the OG oversized watch that birthed a whole system style movement. It's the ultimate statement piece, but its pro-level chronograph and waterman functionality make it so much more than a pretty face. <laughs> okay. Um... Retails for anywhere from $500 to $750. A couple special features are it has a second hand, uh, weighs 10.2 ounces, uh, movement is Japanese quartz. What do you guys think about Japanese quartz? I know everybody's with the Swiss, but Japan makes some nice, nice timepieces as well. It's not just uh, Switzerland, a couple other places, but um, give me your opinion. Tell me what you think in the comments about the Japanese movement. Uh, and uh, it's water resistant up to 984 feet. Uh, so Nixon has been a premium lifestyle accessory brand uh, for creatives and free thinkers for the entire world. Um, the co-founders Chad Den Denena and Andy Lotz started in, in Encinitas, California, 1997. So... Uh, I wasn't, I thought they were much older than uh, 1997, but, you know, 24, 25 years in the game, it's not bad, right? Um, I like the brand personally. I do see some of their timepieces that actually really catch your eye. I know they're not the most expensive watches, but remember, guys, you got to start somewhere. And while I'm showing these watches, I want you to understand that I'm a little bit further than the Nixons and the, and the, uh, what else, um. What's my man's name? He makes the bags. I can't remember his name right off the uh, right off the bat. But uh, this weekend, I was looking at a uh, at an AP out of my price range. Yeah, I know, whatever. But uh, it was being sold. I was speaking to a friend. They let me know about a private owner. Um, he had an AP and a Cartier, and uh, I couldn't afford either one at the time. But I'm still pushing. For those three watches that you know, you know what my goal is, guys. I, I'm not going to repeat it in this video, but you know the goal for the rest of the year. We'll see if I make it, right? Let's push. Uh, just want to give you a little bit of motivational, uh, motivational, a uh, little bit of a motivational speech. You can do it, right? Get in, get in anywhere. One good thing about a watch is that you always know what time it is. So you'll always be on time. When Before I had a watch, I just used my cell phone. I said, you know what? Not really important. I'll just look at the cell phone, whatever. But once I got the watch, you're constantly looking at it, right? You're like, whoa, it's 1.30? Man, I'm supposed to be out of here at you know, 1 o'clock. Or, you know what? Got another 30 minutes. I'll go do this, that, and the other. So I think having a watch is definitely useful because it keeps you punctual. 
and punctuality is very important to me. I don't know about you guys, but I hate being late. I really, really hate being late. I've been to meetings where everyone's late every day, right? And it's it's just a nuisance. It's a pet peeve of mine, so I always want to be on time. Let me fix myself up really quick. I don't know why this keeps uh yeah. Got the new got the new uh accessory. I think it looks kind of dope. Um so let's take a look at this watch, right? You know, normal band, Nixon band. Um it, I don't know about that face because it almost looks like there's a hint of rose gold in it, which um, I, I didn't like it at first, but then once when you look at it again, it's it's kind of you know melted into the color of the watch, which is gold. Obviously, I love gold, and, and people tell me it looks good on my skin. What can I do, right? But uh, I have never wore this watch. I've had it five years. Um, need to replace the battery. Um, again, I have so many watches that I don't wear. I don't even worry about replacing batteries. If I rock it or if I sell it, I'll replace the battery at that point in time. But I'm not going through that headache. Uh, again, my guy in the Chandler Mall, Fast Fix It, he'll hook you up. Um, if you have any issues with your watch, you need to, you know, maybe get a new wristband or you need a new, some pins or batteries. Take it up to Fast Fix It. They'll take care of you. Let them know T from Arizona Riders Club sent you. But uh, tell me what you guys think. Are you feeling the Nixon? Are you especially feeling the Nixon 5130 with that 51 millimeter bezel? I do like a I do like the bezel to be a little bit larger than normal. But it depends on what you're wearing, right? I, I try to match the timepiece to the outfit. Um, there are certain watches that I have or that, that are just for outdoor. There are certain watches that I have that are for diving, you know, sailing, whatever it may be. Uh, and that's one of the benefits. Of, or that's another benefit of a timepiece, right? It has, it could be multi-functionality. And, and I love that aspect. Uh, the one I'm watching, wearing right here has all types of things in I'll give you a review on this one. It's uh, it, this one was a uh, a wedding gift and definitely one of my faves. So um, hit me up. Let me know what you think about that Nixon. Let me know if you have a Nixon. What kind do you have? Give me a shout out in the comments. It's your it's your main man T Arizona Riders Club. Ride with this.